Hello everyone um, and welcome to lesson 5 um, in our 2D side scroller tutorial for um, Unreal Engine 4. Um, and in today's lesson, as you can see, the tile um, in, on, on the screen is um, we're actually going to create the tile set um, in this session. Now, the tile set plays a crucial role um, in our in this tutorial, especially for um, we need to make sure this tile set is done before we can actually start working on our next piece, um, which is obviously going to be in the next episode. Um, and this might be a very short video. Um, it's not very difficult to create the tile set. Um, but there are a few things that we need to do with the tile set first um, before we can actually classify it as finished. Okay, so let's get straight in there. Uh, so, oh, I haven't got Unreal really open. So, um, as you know, we have been using Photoshop, so we actually created um, these six sprites. Um, so that was in a, a few sessions behind now. We've already gone past. And we actually were in Unreal, um, and we created our, or imported our sprite sheet. Uh, we applied the paper 2D settings to the sprite sheet so we could actually make it look more like a sprite. Um, and then what we did is we then extracted um, these sprites out of the uh, sprite sheet um, by using, again, the extraction. So we just right-clicked Sprite Action, and then we extract it, extracted those sprites out. Uh, we did a bit of math. Um, the maths was there so we could get the certain amount of things that we required um, in our sprite sheet. So um, that did help us a little bit in regards to what we wanted. And what we did after that is that we just started to put those uh, sprites onto the scene. Um, and as we saw with the sprites being on the scene, um, there was already collision enabled on those sprites. So um, my character could then stand um, on those uh, sprites itself. However, what we're gonna do now is we're going to create the tile set. Now the tile set is basically, um, again, the sprite sheet. So it's going to be very similar to the sprite sheet. Um, however, what we're going to do is we're going to apply collision um, to things in our sprite sheet. Um, and I'll explain a little bit what that means um, when we get in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click. Uh, we're going to go to sprite actions and then we're going to go to create tile set. So we've already done this apply, we've extracted, but now we're going to create this tile set. And we're going to double click on this. We're actually going to live in this one for today. Okay. And what we have is we've actually got a tile set of 32 by 32. Um, so that's actually our tiles that we are working with. Um, if you're using 16 by 16, you'll change to 16 by 16. If you're using 64 and so forth, like I explained in uh, the previous ones. Um, and also we've got our uh, tile sheet texture. So we've already got that. And so we just right clicked on it and created the um, tile set. Now, the reason why we're doing this is because this is very vital um, to what we're working with. Um, and I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger because um, there's a lot of work we're going to be doing in this area here. And what we've got is we've got a representation of our tiles. Um, so these ones here. Okay. And what's going to happen is uh, we need to click on our very first tile. So you can see that it'll automatically select our tile here. But the problem that we have is that there is a feature inside Unreal that's going to allow us to create um very easy environmental um art piece with our sprite sheets however um if i decide to put that into the game um our character is just going to keep falling through um that the sprites and that's something we don't really want to happen so what we have to do is we actually have to create our own collision um which is not very difficult to do um it, it's it, it takes a little bit of time so if you can imagine if you had a lot of sprites um it could take a quite a while to do it um so we're going to do it all manually um, for all six um, of these objects. Um, these bomb three are probably going to be probably the easiest. Um, this one's definitely going to be the most easiest one. Um, but these ones are just a little bit more trickier um, than oh, uh, the other one. The, the other ones that we're going to do. So to add, um, our, we could call a collision um, in a way is that we're going to add a box around our thirty-two by thirty-two. So this is pretty much our collision. Um, of what's happening with our, our block. Now, let me make this clear. This that we're working with is not the collision that we have on the sprite here. Um, if I had to open up the same sprite, so this one, um, out of the sprite sheet, and go on to the edit collision, you can see that it's already put a box collision around this. Um, and that just comes by default. By putting your sprite in, it'll just make a 32 by 32 block around, oh, actually this is not 32 by 32 to be honest, 
Um, it has um, changed its size because we had the transparency um, and it has fit around that sprite of what we want for the um, collision. However, with our tile set, it's slightly different that we have to do it ourselves. Um, and it's very easy. Uh, as you can see, this is our collision box here. And all we have to do is select the top row and we're going to pull it down. Um, so I'm using a snap of one. I, I find it the easiest when um, making the collision. And I'm going to select this side and I'm going to pull this across. Now you can see straight away I have a small issue here on this corner. Now what I could do is I could hold shift and click. So when you hold a shift and click um, on the screen, you can see that it creates a node that we can work with. And I actually placed it down here because all I'm doing really is I'm going to grab this node without pressing shift because I can just click on it. And I'm going to pull that across so I get this diagonal line here. Now, you can see it's caused a bit of a problem that this bit is sticking out a little bit. I could then hold shift, click, um, and then move that um, on top of it. Like so, so I can do that. Um, if it is causing a bit of a problem, uh, we can take the snapping off. So you can actually turn that off, click, and you can actually then move it how you please. Um, so I'll shift click onto this one and move that how I please. And then we could start shift clicking in the middle, pull it across and push it down. And we could actually make this collision really good. Um, again, this is all about um, how much detail you want to put into your collision. Um, and how much work you want to apply to your collision. I'd always say collision is probably the most important thing inside a game. Uh, so you'd break it up um, as much as you could um, for your collision. Reason being is if I happen to have the collision box here, uh, so if I left it at this point, um, if the character, for example, was standing here, so his back foot was here, um, technically he'll be floating above the piece and that's not what we want inside the game. We actually want to have um, this type of collision feel. And you can see I'm slightly out on some of them, but to be honest, it's just a tutorial, so I'm not going to be very specific on where I place. Normally, um, I'll be very um, detailed. For example, I'll try to keep them as straight as I can. Actually, it's really annoying me. OCD is, is a small problem of mine. So we're just going to make that as straight as I can. That's straight, that's straight. This is most definitely not straight, so we're going to click on that one. And we'll just make that straight. There you go, there's my OCD. So you can actually see the lines are nice and clean um, and it does follow around our spray. Now it's quite simple that we just hit save. So we're actually going to save that one. And our next step is we're going to select our next one. Now look how easy this one is. All I do is add the box and all I'm going to do is select the top and I'm going to move that down to fit onto there. Okay, and as you can see it fits quite nicely um, around that box area. So that's a quite easy one to do to be honest um, to get that collision put into place. This one here, again the same principle, we're going to apply a box. Um, so if you just missed how to do all those little special treatments I did, um, I just selected the side and put it against there. Selected the top and put it against the top, like so. And all I did, uh, again to add the nodes, is I hold shift on the keyboard and you just click on the line and it adds its node um, onto the area. And then all I did was I grabbed this one, put it against the edge like so. And this was slightly out, so I'll hold shift and click on that area to pull that out. And then all I do is just click in the center part, and then I just try and get it as straight as I can to fit where I like um, as a collision base on here. So we can pull that down a bit. Um, this is going to cause a bit of a problem. So we click there. I'm going to pull that one up. I'm going to click in the center, like so. Put it across. I'm actually going to pull that down, like that, so it's nice and clean. Uh, so hopefully my OCD won't be too much on this one. Um, no, everything seems to be okay. Um, everything seems to be nice and straight. So that's adding collision um, onto our corners. Again, save. So we make sure we save them um, just in case um, if anything goes wrong. And we're going to add another box onto this one, and we're going to set it against here. Okay, so we are going to um, add that all together. Uh, make sure that's all flat, which it is. Save. Next one. Um, this one might be really easy. Yep, that was very easy because that's a 32 by 32 anyways. And then our last one, uh, add a box, and all we need to do is just move this side. 
and we'll put that in to the side and everything else seems okay and um, what we've done now is we've just added the collision um to our tile set which we're going to need um for when we start creating our environmental um part of our 2d platformer so that's going to bring me to the end of this video um that was a nice quick one it was only um about 10 minutes long um what we're going to be doing next is we're actually going to start looking at creating our environment uh, by using a very nice tool um, with Paper 2D, um, which makes uh, making levels with sprites a lot more easier. Um, instead of dragging each one individually that I showed you in the previous video. Um, I hope to see you then. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, again, remember, leave me any comments in the comment section. Um, if you like the video, give it a good like. And even if you want to be even more special, um, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next lesson.